<laughs> you know, we, we were t talking before. It's, I, I, you see, I'm, I'm from an accountancy background. Um, I'm into ledgers and bookkeeping. Even though I'll, you know, I'm sort of like dipping my toes in the media world, I'm not that au fait with the media world. And you were talking before about GB News. And um, there's been a lot of controversy with it, haven't there? There's a lot of people that don't like GB News. Yes, for, so for mm. the context, it's a brand new news channel, a yeah. legitimate, it's out on Sky it's, and Freeview yeah. and all that. And um, yeah, but for months before it launched, people wanted to crush it mm. um, for hate. For hate crimes. It's spreading hate. What's what's the name of that lady, uh, Louise Wickstrom? Oh, yes, yes. Wasn't she a Pokemon? No, she's not a Pokemon. As Wickstrom, that's a different... I thought a Pokemon. But she, she's really making a fuss about it, isn't she? Yes, ex-BBC content producer. The hate, all the hate crime. The yeah, anti-hate well, crime. Anyway, I've got it here. She, she runs boycottgbnews.org under mm. her company Ripples. And, uh, yeah, well, Ripples. Incidentally, Ripples, I've, I looked it up. They don't seem to be trading. No, well, she's... she's it's a new company. It's grifting on Twitter for donations, though, isn't it? That's the deal, you know. Twitter, so, so you set a company up these days... And you can go on Twitter and you can go on crowdfunding sites and ask people for money. Do you go fund me, say mm. we must stop this hate. And so then... you've got to stand for something. So if you stand for something. Quite the opposite. No. Yeah. <laughs> go, I'm, I'm sorry. And what I'm hearing here is that this is free money because you've got, you've got a normal commercial business. So you've opened a pub around the corner and instead of waiting for customers to come in and take the money from selling your products and services, You've got, you can go out there and say, give me money because I stand for this. Is that, yeah? yeah is that what it is? that's the one. Maybe, maybe that's a viable model. Yeah. You know. Should we do the, you probably, you probably don't know Stephen Crowder. He has the, the, the tables with Change My Mind written in front of it. Right. So it'll be say like, America is not racist, change my mind. So people give him money. Should we go in, oh yeah, a lot of money. Ooh. A lot of money, yeah. Just for saying that. Should we go like, right, capitalism and like that. <laughs> And we'll go sit. Capitalism. In, yeah, we'll go. We'll go sit in the park and film yeah. it. And well, you've got you've got X, a hat, X, haven't X you? Money. You can put your hat out there. And Which hat? Yeah. That this, hat. Uh, you can just put it on the floor in the park and say, "I'm a capitalist." Cap. Pittle, sorry. So, so, so explain. So, so, if this is a business model, so you go and stand for something. Like I'd love to stand for science and technology, because I think business. There's so many opportunities if people understood new science and technology coming through the door and how to use it. I mean, I built, I started accounts direct with one piece of accounting software, which was enabled me to speed up the production of accounts and therefore, da 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 da. So I'd, I'd love to bring people more information about new technology and, and, and new new things. Like there was a paint, there was that painting thing that we're talking about, wasn't it? Where yeah. you can actually get this paint machine that you attach it to a wall. And it paints a mural. It paints whatever you want. You, if you wanted, you can have a six foot high detailed painting of me on your wall. And you just set the machine up and there it goes and, and sprays. It's, it's like, a, what are those other things called? The the um, the 3D printers. Mm. All these things, is, there's, a, there's a business in a box with these what things. What are we doing? What are we doing here doing this then? Can I just say I'm still loving the six foot high thing? Bigger than life. Yeah. <laughs> just the face, just six foot high face. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> okay. Well, the anyway, anyway. They're, they're trying to put a bill through Parliament. Yeah. Well, it's been suggested that um, oh, <laughs> that everyone who wants one wants what one of these paint machines or a picture know, of me, a, a picture of me, picture of the Queen, yeah, to hang in their home or business. Everyone that wants one. Really? Yes. Is there a size of that? Well, I did see someone ask, but there were no answers. Because you could turn it round and use it as wallpaper. I was just thinking maybe just flog them. Who, just, the just, I used to sell pictures of the Queen years ago and have my cash account. It pictures. wasn't a good. It wasn't a good seller. You know, we, we, we actually had a lad in the warehouse once that wanted to paint a dartboard on it, and he, we sold a couple. Treasonous dog. Yeah. It is, isn't it? It's not a nice thing to do. It's fine. No. Yeah. So, so we're going back to um, the Pokemon lady, Louise um, Wickstrom, yes. who's quoting that, I believe that this station isn't very woke. Yeah, it's not woke. In fact, that's the... It's, I've, I've watched quite a bit of it, actually, and it's yeah. fine. It's, it's yeah. very... It's, it doesn't depart hugely from the general feeling I, of I television I think a lot news. of people watching this show, they're, they're business people, and mm. I always find that business people do what is commercially viable. I don't think 
many people have strong views on what is or what should be. Or I think I think it's just, you know, somebody comes in and and they, they come into the shop and want to do business. I, I personally don't care what anybody is. You don't worry about what the hippies are screaming. Well, I don't even about, see do them. Yeah. I don't no. even see. But but I do know that I, I do try not to make too many faux pas. Like I do understand now that some men don't want to be called him. They want to be called her. Going there, are we? They or this, <laughs> and I, I do understand that. So, from a commercial point of view, whatever's going on in my head, yeah. from a commercial point of view, I just try and accommodate it. So, so I think as GB News, they're, they're trying to boycott because they don't think they're very politically. Yeah, correct, and they're, they? they're putting up lists of companies that have gone with it, and some have yeah. been, some have capitulated. Most of them have just ignored the mm. mob completely. Yeah. And but, but what but the net result though is actually been that it's just been free advertising for GB News. Yeah, that's good. People like myself have checked it out, which is why the vast majority of the advertisers have quietly stayed. Well, I, I don't really understand this. Uh, to me, hate crime is when you're rude, I mean, really abusive or rude to somebody because of who or what or where they come from and and that but <laughs> so what, why are you laughing you'd at think me? that but the police ignore me every friday oh, i send a, them yeah. i send them the evenings recordings yeah and i get ignored every week well i've never really heard you be particularly unwoke i, I think you're like the rest of us you're just not that bothered no yeah. So, but just not not everyone's. Uh, you know, I know we call him a fascist, but that's he you is. know. I, I, would would you call yourself a fascist, Graham? No, I, I, I you, you know I go where. Are you a serial killer? Of course I'm not. I just like wearing ladies' face. I'm not a fascist. <laughs> he's a fascist. He's ableist. Phobic. I'm a little bit ableist. I'm a little bit ableist against certain disabled people. Yeah, that's not um, nice. Hey, listen, if they buy your products and services, they're all equal to me. Well, well that doesn't happen, does it? Yeah, but I, I do. I, I've no, got people just from all sorts of life. You'd refuse entry to a person in a wheelchair if they were horrible. You well, if they go... were horrible, not because they were in a wheelchair. Exactly, that's my point. Or ugly. If people are ugly, I think, you know, thank God we've got these masks now. Yeah, well, yeah, you don't, you don't want an ugly crypt. <laughs> but nobody you, thinks yeah. they're ugly. You, you, you no, can't not, not because they've, they've got some... Once. What word did you use this then? What? <laughs> I think we need to bleep that one out. Oh, you, you, what, what? Hayden, I mean, <laughs> Graham, you're taking this show down to trigger point, trigger warning. Oh, oh, so oh, tri oh, 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 trigger oh, warning's oh, not on oh, until 10 o'clock. And if you really want to be offensive or offended, you know, go go to that one. Are we done with that? So, so where do you think GB News is going? Is it worth watching? It's actually very good, yeah. Should I've not, I've not watched all of it. Dude, I, I was told about this hate and everything, and the reason yeah. advertisers have stuck with it is because I turned it on and it was like a 20-minute segment saying, make sure you go to the dentist. Not a lot of people have done over lockdown. I was like, what the hell? This is fine. Yeah. You know, or how can we support kids going back out into school over the summer and all this? Was like, there was nothing wrong is with it. Is it one of those dentists that maybe make necklaces out of your teeth? No. I'm out. I don't you know You are on say. dad joke heaven right now, aren't you? <laughs> Exceptional. Yeah, it's doing really so well. So it is yeah. somewhere that we could look at advertising. Oh, they're going great, Gordon. Yeah. Well, we're with Octopus Energy. And yeah. um, the thing is, as well, if you if you do want to advertise with GB News, there's a lot of good feeling for people that do. I think we should put an advert for Alt Feed on there, man. Just a whole channel advert. Let's do it. It's all, it's all swinging around on different chairs. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you want to carry on watching, we've got loads of videos all around us. But if you have more real world issues and you, you something you'd like to talk about, do feel free to contact me. Just go to my website, stephenenglander.co.uk, fill in the form, tell me what it is roughly you want to talk about and I'll be in touch. Thank you.